Yep, it's true. I have seen the most disliked movie trailer of all time on the big screen. I've seen it, and you know how I feel? I feel this movie doesn't deserve all, deserve all this hate. It really, really doesn't. Ghostbusters. If you ask me, the first original Ghostbusters is a classic. I love the original Ghostbusters. Like, I truly do believe the original is a classic movie. It's a funny movie. It's an awesome classic movie. And the second one, it's enjoyable. It's not the greatest, but it's enjoyable. And if you ask me in January what was like my top five most paid, this probably would like my, my fifth or sixth movie. Until I saw all the trailers, I was like, this looks, oh, it looks very iffy, it looks, it looks so, like, fan-made Ghostbusters movie, and I have to say, after seeing it, it kind of felt that way, but either way, I still enjoyed the new movie, yes, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed watching Melissa McCarthy, uh, Kristen Wiig, Leslie Jones, and Kate McKinnon, is that her name? I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive. They are together, and this movie is basically about Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, they're best friends until Kristen Wiig gets out of this ghost scene, becomes successful as a teacher, and then she gets pulled back into Melissa McCarthy and Kate McKinnon, and they're like, she's an engineer, and Melissa McCarthy's a scientist, and they find out, hey, ghosts, they're real, and then they all come together, Leslie Jones is a New Yorker who comes and helps them, and they create Ghostbusters, and this movie is a reboot this is not a sequel at all there's no mention of the original movie none of that ever happened in this universe this is a reboot and you know that is a cool way to do it and i am fine with four female ghosts i mean ghostbusters you know why because they're all funny and in this movie they're all funny leslie jones stole the show to me she stole the show she is really funny. Like, she looks like she was having the most fun in this role. She wasn't really a character, though. She was just kind of a big cartoon, just like Kate McKinnon. She was a cartoon, but she was awesome in the movie. I thought she was really funny. Melissa McCarthy and Crystal Wig, they're actually the ones with characters and comedy. So they really worked well, but Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones, they were really funny, in my opinion. Chris Hemsworth is the biggest idiot secretary in this movie, and I liked him. I like Chris Under. He was a little over the top, but I still really liked him. And as a team, those five people, they work together really well. Like, I mean, they all work together really well, and I really enjoyed their team. I enjoyed the new Ghostbusters team. I like that. Now, if I had to talk about this movie, holy crap. The ending. The ending, they just really go for it. They don't even care for it. This, the main villain is named, like, Rowan, Ronin or something like that. It was like, he, he's trying to get these ghosts for a reason. Like, he's trying to get all these ghosts together for one big reason that won't spoil. But I just thought this villain and the whole third act of this movie went overboard. Like, I just, the villain was stupid and the third act went way overboard. To the, the CGI, though, and the sound effects weren't that bad. Like, the CGI actually looked really good in this movie and the sound sounded good. Like, hearing the ectoplasm start up and, like, them shooting at it, it was actually sounded really good. Now, a big part of this movie is, did I laugh? I laughed a good bit in this movie. I did. I, I didn't laugh hard. I didn't have a gut buster. But I did laugh at this movie. I just, like, laughed. I was like, that's funny. And I laughed like that and everything. But I never had like that. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm dying. Like, this is the end. Kind of, like, dying laughing. Or, like, neighbors and like that. But I did laugh in the movie. And I thought the girls had great chemistry. And the CGI was pretty good. And I thought the ending was way overboard. But my biggest, biggest critique of this movie is Paul Feig was not the right director. Every movie he makes nowadays is rated R and it's super funny. This movie is PG-13 and he had a variety to work with. So I can tell he had the biggest trouble in this movie. If this movie was rated R, this movie would have been so funny and so good. But he had a limit. He couldn't make this movie R. He had to make a PG-13 because he had to stick with stuff. And I feel like if he, this movie was rated R, this movie would have been 10 times better. And one of my biggest issues is the whole cameos. I like seeing Bill Murray, I like seeing the old secretary, I like seeing Dan Aykroyd, but I didn't like seeing Ozzy Osbourne, that was, that was weird. But anyways, seeing all the old actors, it was really cool, but when those scenes happened, the movie like stopped and was like, hey, it's a throwback, it's a cameo, like, the movie just kind of relied on old moments of Ghostbusters, like, 
Jurassic World and Star Wars. Those movies, they are reboots or sequels. They're sequels to the original movies, and they're tr and they're making new characters and making it new, and they can throw in old things. This movie kind of relied too much on old things. Overall, I thought the movie was okay. I enjoyed the five main leads. I thought the CGI, the sound effects was good. I thought the movie was funny. So I will give the movie a low C. It is a movie you could see, but I do recommend just watching the original. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!